Right, welcome to DC Fan Gifts Hope. Right, so, yes, I'm still wearing them. You know. uh, right, so I just watched uh, Shovel War. The past few videos I've been making is because I, I've been talking to people who've seen Civil War. So it came free on Netflix and I, I forced myself to watch it. So, what did I think? It was better than I thought it was put it that way. Uh, I mean, the action scenes with Ant-Man and, and stuff like that was all well thought out, you know, every bit where they had the time on the screen and stuff, and um, so that that was okay. The ending was a wee bit naff, I, I didn't really like the ending, it just sort of left you hanging there, whatever, it wasn't really... Um, and then I, I liked the dynamic where he finds out that, you know, the Winter Soldier. Uh, spoilers, of course, because you've probably all seen it before me. Uh, the Winter Soldier had killed Iron Man's father. Uh, but he was, you know, brainwashed and stuff like that. And so, of course, that got them to fight it out and stuff. And I mean, the film was okay. Seriously, I mean, the film was alright, you know, um, better than Age of Ultron, uh, but it's still, I don't know if it's me, I've, I've spent my life my life watching all these movies, and, you know, watching, not these movies, but watching movies in general, from all different kinds, and maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just looking out for something more, you know, I think, and yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that there comes a, a point in your life where, Every film becomes predictable, and you can you can see the storyline and where it's going. Uh, so you need you need something to really be different and and pull you. And otherwise, you know, even I watched the Hitman Bodyguard. Um, that was okay, um, but again, it's it's something I've I've seen before. It's like watching, you know, it's there are. All movies to me are now slowly becoming franchises, even the ones that are not like part one, part two, you know, you know, like Taken or anything like that. So they're all sort of feeling the same way. So I don't know. Uh, what was that thing? So what what I heard on on a website or I, I don't know, it was on the news or something like that. I heard that somewhere. So I may have picked it up wrong. So, but they were talking about Black Panther. And the reason maybe Black Panther was more sort of successful than normal was because places like, I don't know, Dubai or something like that, places where movies weren't, it was something to do with Sikhs, you know, the big sort of Lawrence Arabia, blooming, maybe it was Arabia and stuff like that, but it was a, it was a country where, you know, the rich and sort of, you know, the ones that live in the days or whatever, I, I just caught the tail in and they had just opened the Black Panther up uh, there for the first time, so that was kind of millions of people that, that stayed there, uh, maybe the same sort of populace as China or something, so I, I don't, it basically sounded as though they opened the, the Black Panther up there and they hadn't sort of opened previous movies before and I think they're they're changing their ways and they're going to be opening more movies that we make because some countries are like that some you know like i mean like china itself you know didn't show suicide squad um because of the elements in it and and some movies don't get to other countries because of their religious views so this was a country that hadn't shown it and then maybe they showed up because I don't know, maybe they were all black, or maybe it had this political thing that some sort of people um, who view films before allowing it in the country had said, no, this is a good uh, this is a good point, or whatever, this is speaking to us. I don't know, but I'm, I'm hoping the, the world changes, and, and uh, I was looking at the Commonwealth, um, America probably don't know what the Commonwealth is, but all these hundreds of countries uh, on um, the east side of the world, you know, they're all joining and they're all trying to 
do the right thing for everybody and get every so equal opportunities. So maybe this is maybe this is a turning point for for all the countries on the east side of the world and, and whatnot. Uh, so that as mainly as as I say, um, I'll probably see Black Panther when it comes through your Netflix. Uh, it just doesn't. There is this news about was it that just came out recently about. Uh, Zack Snyder had planned to do this five movie arc, and I heard I heard some place that Batman was going to get killed and stuff like that, and one of the reasons that Ben Affleck was going to do it, and, and and it's it's news like this, and a lot of of course Zack Snyder fans will be up in arms, and oh I want I want to see that I want to see that, and again I'm I'm all right for it changing hands, you know, and and not going down that way and stuff like that, because I wouldn't want my Ben Affleck getting killed. We'll probably get. We'll probably something will happen down the way, but I I just don't think it was a good artistic sort of view that Zack Snyder was going for. You know, I, I love BVS and Man of Steel, and um, a lot of people didn't, uh, even the Ultimate Cut and stuff like that. But um, as I say, I, I just want what's best for DC, and maybe. You know, we've had that wee toe dip in there and we've had the, that sort of look for the DC and now it's maybe going to another direction and have another look and see what see what comes up best. So um yeah, no, so that that's my views on Civil War. It was it was not too bad. But the intro to Spider Man because hence I'd already seen that really bad movie Homecoming uh, and um, that really destroyed destroyed Spider-Man for me and, I, and I'm a big Spider-Man fan so when I saw uh, this sort of quick sort of introduction to the new Spider-Man in Civil War knowing what was coming next I just I didn't like it you know I mean the action sequence with Spider-Man's fighting in the airport was was good you know it had that sort of he's talking quite a lot but the whole thing with Tony Stark and him just Tony Stark coming into his room and then reshaping his sort of direction, not even going too much about his um his uncle and too much you know, power his responsibility stuff. So I just I, I just don't like it. It's not my Spider Man. Um, uh, Garfield was mine really until he spoiled up with the second movie. Um, but as I, say, I went into um, I went into the shops every time I go into a DVD shop now, um, I see Justice League and Justice League is selling well, and then I look um, to DVDs, you know, because Justice League came out first, then it was Wonder or something, and then it was Last Jedi, and then we go Last Jedi had you know, and most of the DVDs are there, nobody's buying it, so I'm um, I sort of feel relieved that. I'm not the only one that feels um, that Star Wars is dead. Uh, for 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 me, who grew up watching that thing and you know and studying the Force and everything else and getting into the psyche of that sort of universe and and loving those characters, uh, I'm just glad I haven't seen it. I know what happens in it though, and I would just. I just can't believe that they've treated that way. And lo and behold, whatever you think about uh, Justice League, they didn't go as far as what they did with Star Wars. And um, the proof's in the pudding when you look at the Rotten Tomato scores. Um, and all the YouTube sites, people are still saying Justice League was okay. So it's, you know, so there you go. And in a way for me, Justice League has came out on top. Uh, on top of a Star Wars movie and fair it away in likeability and not screwing things up as bad. You know, some people might think Justice League is Justice League is screwed up uh, with all the the stuff that happened in the background, but not as much as the Last Jedi. And I'm I'm glad people are buying it on DVD. And uh, and and as I said many a times before, the more people that buy it, and the more chances it may have for all those people. They want to see some sort of special edition, whether it be Zack or director's cut or whatnot, or extended edition or whatever. You know, as long as you still buy Justice League, it'll prompt them to do that. So who knows? 
So thanks for watching, mind check out my page DC Fan Gives Hope and mind if you put uh, DC Hope in the password on the website hailthevillains.com you get 15% off. Thanks very much for watching.